Hi Jeff, it's Angie. I'm going to show you how to use the back end now. Hopefully you'll be able to hear this tutorial a little better. So what I'm going to do first is in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get to the back end of the website. And what I want you to do is go ahead and click on the link that I sent you. And go ahead and log in. This is the control panel. This is what you'll see every time that you log into the system through the back end. And really what you'll need to do on the back end is simply, um, well, you can add the vehicles here too, but um, what we're going to do now is simply add the different uh, makes and models and um, different features and things that go along with each vehicle so or each camper. So what we're going to do is I want you to go to Components, Go down to EXP Autos and click on that. Since it's a component, it typically has its own control panel, which you see right here. And what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you the categories. I made you very generic categories. Um, I've learned from other dealers and from doing websites in the past, the easier you, easier you make it for yourself and for your surfers or visitors to the site, the better, the more you'll sell. So what I did is I um, categorized them into vehicles, trailers, tent campers, and boats. If you want to add anything else, this is where you would do it. And all you would do, as in anything on Joomla, is you'd click the new. And then you can give it the name, the category and name. You can also give it a description if you want. And then you can select which fields listed here that you want to use with it. So it's very, very simple. Then we're going to go to Mark. Mark is actually Make. But in Europe, it's not Make, it's Mark. So, just so you know. So what I've done is I've added some of them already. Um, as you, mm, I didn't put Nomad in there. You must have done that. So you can see how easy it is to add your Mark. And Model, you did that. Great. The other things that you can you can alter are your condition, the colors. You can go ahead and add all the colors you want in there. Body types, the drives, fuel should be fine. Um, you'll probably want to add other transmissions, maybe. Currency is okay. Equipment category. So far, I've just done standard vehicle features and standard trailer features. Um, you'll probably want to do the same thing for boats and for any other category that you have. And then equipment. As you can see, I have a ton of equipment listed already, but you can, um, you can sort them out here. And so we'll sort out trailer. And you'll see there's only a few things listed for trailer right now. So in order to add a new one, all you do is hit the new button again and fill in the information. Put the equipment name and then you have to select the drop down which category you want it to go into. So very, very simple. So now we're going to go back, we're going to go actually to the ad manager. Here is where you're able to keep track of all the vehicles or campers that you have in the system. And again you can um, you can use this, the drop downs, to sort them out to make it easier on you. So it works really well. And then you can edit individual ones just by um, putting a check mark in it and then clicking edit. You can also delete it this way or you can unpublish it. Maybe you don't want it to be published yet. You don't have it on the lot, but you do have the information. So you would just hit unpublish and it would show as not published. And then simply to publish it back up again, you just click on the little red dot. So it's very, very easy. You can add the vehicles here if you like, just by clicking on new and answer the questions, go through the equipment, and then you browse your hard drive for an image. You have up to five images that you can load. And one thing that I do suggest, Jeff, is to make sure that your images are small. 
Um, most cameras out there are set with a very high resolution, which are usually very, very large for websites. So um, try to set your camera at the lowest possible setting, which is typically your web setting. Um, and it should take the photos with the size that will be good for loading up to uh, da, 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 for loading up onto the website. Okay, that's it for that. And what I'm going to do is in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can do this, how you can enter um, a vehicle or a camper from the front end of the website. The only way you can do that is if that particular make and model um, is already in the system. So I'll show you how to do that. So we'll log out of there and I'll show you that in the next video.